Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment down below on what you think about this video. So this video today is all about a reaction to a wolf cut. And there's been quite a few. So I was on YouTube recently, and I was just typing in Paul Watts wolf cut, to see what come up, check my analytics and all that. And there's been so many people that have copied, DIY'd their own wolf cut. And uh, this one I'm gonna to react to today, I've got another few to react to. So if you wanna see them, let me know in the comments down below. They're all really interesting because they're all taking sort of um, my techniques uh, and using it on themselves. And, and the same with the, the Bob that I just did. That, like, they're not meant for DIY. They're meant to help educate young hairdressers. But if you guys are doing it and getting great results, then carry on. But today's video is from a girl, Alyssa Suro. And she says, hey everyone, my hairstylist was totally booked this month. Oh, okay. So I haven't watched this. This, I've just clicked on her channel. Uh, I've saved them all up in my playlist as like video ideas but I'm reading this for the first time. So her hairdress has been booked this month. So I decided to take my, so decided to take matters into my own hands. Happy to confirm that the Paul Watts DIY um, wolf cut does work on naturally curly hair. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Head over to Alyssa's uh, YouTube channel and let her know that you've seen this reaction and, and tell her that, well, let's see if she does a good job, shall we? Um, yeah, title of it is, I tried Paul Watts DIY wolf cut for curly hair. So for curly hair, I did a wolf cut, which was, so my newest one is for straight hair. So this one must be the one that I twisted. Cause I think that's the one I did for, for curly hair. Uh, I'll pop it up in here so you can see the thumbnail. Um, yeah, it was Marcus uh, Gimate, who's at Mark Anthony. He did a, a, in, a Instagram live, Facebook live for Joyco, and he did this, this sort of twisting around, and I loved it. So I thought, right, I'm going to do a little homage to, to Marcus's um, cut. So uh, yeah, let's see how Alyssa gets on. Hey guys, Sadja how? Let's Please turn it up. Ignore my cat if you can. Oh my god, he's so. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting my own hair in a wolf style haircut. I wasn't totally expecting to do this, but I have to retake my driver's license picture like this week and my usual hairdresser is about an hour away and I can't book an appointment for at least a few weeks out, so this will have to do. Sounds like a good hairdresser. Being that booked in advance, um, she's got to take her driver's license pictures, so she needs a fresh haircut, she can't get with her hairdresser, she's going to take matters into her own hands. Um, I'd have waited personally, but let's see what she does. I found a tutorial. They're calling it the squid game haircut or the wolf cut. And so that's what I'm going to follow today. And going into it, I'm feeling pretty confident because I don't really care what happens. <laughs> I'll be fine with She's got lovely hair, really nice curl to it. A um, little bit of frizz, but that's probably because it hasn't been styled or anything. She's already got a layer in there as well. Um, length, good length for a wolf cut. Um, let's see how she gets on. Like this much off. The goal is just to bring a little more edge to it, like a couple more layers, shorten up the front a little. I like to have a really distinct line right here, like a diagonal. Cool. So, as long as I can achieve that, the length doesn't matter that much to me. For the record, this is my before. Get a good look. My hair is not really styled. I styled it a few days ago, but I'm sorry, it's so popular. My <laughs> yeah, but I like to wear it kind of messy, so that's why I'm not super concerned with how the cut itself turns out. The tutorial I'm going to be following There's me. is by Paul Watts. So I'm going to get. Yeah, so it is that one, um, the one that I did with just all the twists all the way around the head. I don't, well, I'm, I'm excited to see how she twists all, all the way around. The only thing I'm thinking about with this haircut is that it's, it's, there's no elevation to it. And, and we like take a piece off, take a bit more, take a bit more, take a bit more to create that, that line that Alyssa wants. So it's gradually going down, but she's gonna have to cut it like this. And then I back cut it. So I use the butt of the blade and I, I push up and then next one, push up, next one, push up. And then around the back, exactly the same. This is why like my methods are 
for hairdressers to sort of see um, and understand. I break some down completely to, so it's like one section ponytail so they can see that is over direction. That's what we'll achieve if we cut it there. That is elevation. If we cut that there, that is what we achieve. Doing this method for curly hair, curly hair is quite um, forgiving in the sense that it curls up, you've got that natural texture in there anyway, so there can be little things that can be hidden. I started by washing my hair. Normally I use the Verb Ghost shampoo and conditioner, but I ran out of the shampoo. So I'm using the Uncle Funky's Daughter Bye Bye Build Up Cleansing Conditioner. That should be the trick. And my Verb, verb. Other Conditioner if I need it. Never heard of that. <laughs> my verb. hair is clean. This is what it looks like. And the next thing that he does nice. is takes a section that's diamond shape from the middle and he yep. plants it. And then he oh, I brought a mirror. Ha! I'm so smart, hang on. Oh, is that for the back? I corrected this, I think it's a baby mirror. Oh yeah, yeah, so she can see that. Hey, if it works, it works, right? That's definitely crooked. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep going. I have my mom oh, do this diamond shape. Neat because I was not capable. Very neat, Mum. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm really not as popular. It's just my family chat. It doesn't have to be <laughs> perfect, perfect. Curly hair is so really forgiving, and especially with this kind of cut, the whole said. point is for it to be like a messy look. But my mom did a great job, much better than I could have done. So continuing on, the next thing that he did was, I'll have to re-wet my hair again, but he took all these pieces and he kind of twisted them into ropes, I would call it, like this. Yeah. And then he went all the way around the head. So I'm gonna re-wet my hair and then do the same thing. Cool. Another thing that he did in the video was add a styler, finisher, all-in-one product. But I have a product that I already really like, which is this AG Recoil. Let's see if I can. No, I'll never be an influencer, come on. <laughs> hey, okay. So I'm going to put this in my hair and then I'll do the ropes that he did. This product is pretty thick, so you don't need to use too much of it, especially if you have a hair texture like mine. So a great product that I would recommend for that is Zero Heat by Joico. Um, we've got one for thick hair, one for fine to medium, probably the same as, as what Alyssa is using here. It's just gonna reduce frizz, um, add shine, add condition to the hair and, and it helps it uh, when it's drying naturally. Also dry quicker, but just to just to take that sort of frizz factor away. Which I would say is like a 3A, 3B mix. I have a lot of different curl patterns in my head, in my head, in my hair. So I try to keep, in general, keep my products light. This is what it's looking like right now. Cool. I have not cut anything yet, but I'm about to. He takes the butt end, I guess he calls it. And then he starts back dragging the hair Cutting. Up. So I'm just gonna back start cutting. with this piece. And I'm gonna start pretty small. I'm going to take the butt end. Oh wow, I think it's working. Okay. And you see the frayed edge, so that's where we're creating that texture, that softness in curly hair. And Alyssa even said it like curly hair is really forgiving. Not that you want to be hiding stuff in, in when you're doing haircuts or anything like that, but for shapes, when you've cut it curly, you have pieces, like she said, she's got loads of different curls, curl patterns in her hair naturally. So some bits will may dry tighter, some may dry looser. I've got a client who's got really curly hair in like the bulk of the hair. Around the hairline at the back, it's like quite smooth, uh, smooth, straight-ish, wavy. And then on top, she's got a wave. So it's just a case of getting to know curling, cutting curly hair, drying it, and then going into refine it. But, but that's why it's really forgiving because you've got all these textures to work with anyway. So you're gonna be refining probably quite heavy. And I always sort of likened curly hair to like a, um, oh, what is it, a bonsai tree. So we're on Karate Kid where he's like just snipping those little pieces just to make the shape. That's how I really sort of see when you're refining curly hair. You don't really want to be sort of dragging it out and then, then point cutting and taking um, weight away that way. It should already be done in with this cut 
but then when you come to refine, that's where the shape wants to be put in and you want to be just tweaking it just to create that, that, that thicker, fuller or looser texture. So you can see, so she's taken off little pieces, but you can see on this piece here how she's already dragging that forward. So we're, we're creating a bit of elevation, so it'll be like a softer um, look than rather than having it down here and taking it down like that. As soon as you start to elevate hair at all, you're going to be starting to create softness. Um, and if you're going to be elevating and over directing, you're going to be maintaining more length when it comes to the haircut. So we haven't seen the back of her hair yet. So I don't know if she's twisted it all around at the back already or she's gonna do that once she's on the front, but. My cut is gonna look a lot shorter once it's dry. The front pieces that I already cut, these back pieces, he did not say to do this, but it's a pretty standard like DIY cut. I'm just going to put it in kind of a ponytail shape and then bring it to the front of my head, which is gonna cause layering to happen. So similar to the other wolf cut that I did, the first one, um, where I, I did put the ponytails, I put one on top and one on the front here. So she's just basically taking all of her hair from the back here, over directing it to the front, gonna cut it. She's got the diamond on top of her head, so I don't know how, if she's just gonna lift it to the ceiling maybe. Um, but yeah, she's gonna maintain a lot of that length at the bottom and then put in a layer. So let's see. And then I'm just gonna do a cut. Do cut. Actually, I'll band it, why not? I have a hair tie. I'm just gonna do a cut here. Let's see. So it's only a tiny bit. She literally took the ends off, which is fine. But what you can see is where, from a technical point of view, if you were to um, elevate that hair right to the top and cut it, it'd be like a box layer. So you'd be getting a nice blunt line and it would then fall quite symmetrically. She took the hair over one shoulder, which then means the hair which is on this side of the head is gonna be shorter. And the hair that's traveling from this side all the way around is gonna be longer. She didn't take that much off, so I'm not really thinking that there is going to be a dramatic change, but just to bear, bear in mind, if we are taking all hair from one side and then cutting it over here, the side closest is going to end up shorter than the other side because that's traveling further. I do want my hair shorter. By the way, this is not a tutorial. This is more just like watch me make bad choices. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody says when doing these videos. Channel. Usually I'm so particular about cutting my hair and then today I was like, nah, the look is messy. The look is DIY. I can just do it myself. This part is important though. Let's see this bit. But actually, I don't even think he did ponytail with this. He, I think he just twisted it all the way to the top like this. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> he cut this entire part off which I want a lot of layers, so I'm gonna cut this much off. So on the actual video, she might bring it back, but I took it straight up to the ceiling and then cut it down like that, because then what that will do is it, you'll get more of a, of a symmetrical or more of a balanced layer. Again, she's taking it forwards, which means the back is gonna be longer, the front of the layer is gonna be shorter because it's, it's directed that way. I might go back and cut a little more length off and then I'm going to dry this. Even though I said to be conservative, um, I can't follow my own directions, let alone somebody else's directions. <laughs> but anyway, here it is wet. Here's the back. I haven't really styled it the way that I normally do, but just right from the uh, cut, this is how it's looking. I'm really happy already. Shape looks good. I can already start to see these yeah, shape looks great. Here. 
I'm gonna diffuse and I will come back and show you the final oh. result. Oh, the other thing I've been doing is I like to have a super angle, kind of shaggy look. So I might cut a little more just to get a super defined, almost like pointed look like this. But yeah, I'll diffuse and come back. This is the final result. Wow. I think it looks pretty good. It's so fluffy again, which is really what I was after. And the shape definitely came back. So here's... So you can see the shape's definitely there. I mean, from where I've paused it now, and you can see all of that. That looks, just looks so full, so shiny, so glossy, so defined. Um, it looks amazing, to be honest. Um, yeah. The um, backwards view. A little bit of slow mo. Yeah, I can really see these layers in the back. They look great. And then this angle right here is exactly what that kind of wolf cut is all about. There might be a few things that I touch up. Do you want to be in the video? No. Just your voice? No. But you just said you liked it. Okay, so you like it. No one's gonna watch this I video. I really like it. Aww. <laughs> so she just said no one's gonna watch this video. So I'm watching this video. So if you watch this video, head over to her channel and let her know you watched this video. Um, and then give her some subscribers. I think she's got, what is it? Let me just have a look. What's her subscriber count? So she's got 476. So if we can get it to 500, that'd be pretty cool, right? So uh, yeah, if you watch this, she's got 28 likes. So if we get those 28 likes to 100 likes, and then the subscribers, let's add another 24, get it, get it to 500. She just said no one's gonna watch this video, which I think is is really cool that we are. <laughs> okay, try and say it once. I really like it. Thanks, mom. Mom approves. Don't forget to like the video, tell me what you think of the cut. I like it. I, 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 I care what you think, but I like it. So you're not gonna change my mind. <laughs> and subscribe. Bye guys. Day two hair. That's yeah, cool. I love the curl. Really nice natural curl, like, more of like a, a, a tight wave, it's, it's lovely. So um, yeah, that was Alyssa. Thank you for, for doing the haircut. Um, I hope some of the guys from the channel come over to you and, and, and subscribe and let you know in the comments how nice it looks. Um, but yeah, thank you for doing doing the haircut. It's always really good to see what there is. You've got a lot of comments, and So let's, let's have some of the comments. So super cute, my hair is similar to yours. I think I'm going to do the cut. So there's somebody else, that's Jessica, looks great. Loving your curls, looks great. Uh, your hair is awesome. Thank you, uh, Alyssa. Uh, if you wanna see more of these reaction videos, let me know in the comments down below. I think there's four more in my playlist for video ideas, reaction videos, that people have copied haircuts that I've done. And look by looking at all the comments in some of the latest videos, if some of you guys are filming them, send me them and I'll, I'll react to them because I'd love to see all you guys trying what I, what I do. I do recommend you go and see a hairdresser, 100%. But if like Alyssa, you need it doing, you can't get it done, you're only trimming, then it looks good. So yeah, until next time, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.